did the pressure start building up on you, Roger? I, I wish someday, and I'm sure that after this is all over, somebody's going to really write the story of this severe pressure uh, under which you and Mick both uh, uh, played, and uh, as you began to approach uh, the Babe's record, it became even more severe. Well, I think, uh, Mel, when I reached that 50 mark, the uh, pressure started coming in. Uh, I don't think it was so much the pressure of playing the game of baseball, but uh, answering the questions of the press day after day, so many fellas, and, uh, and every day your photographers, you're out, you come out in the field and all day you're just, all your time before the ball game is spent with the photographers, and after the ball game it's the writers, and uh, before the game it's the writers, and between you the two of them, boy, it was uh, just a real pleasure to get out there and play the game. And the headlines as you went into each town, uh, uh, your head, the headlines were about you and Mick and, and the teams, uh, even the hometown teams, secondary. Right. Uh, of course, Mick and I would like to have seen uh, some of the other fellows on this ball club get a little bit of the credit because there are many ball players on this club having good years, and uh, Mick and I can't win this pennant. Uh, we can help, but... The, takes 25 men. Oh, uh, we've we been a little bit disappointed on that part, but... Uh, well, they still, everything, everybody understands that every, it's a team job, and they know that you both uh, are team men. We've seen you squeeze and run home. Uh, we've seen you hit the opposite field now and then uh, when it meant a ball game to help win that pennant. But uh, that pressure that I want to get to once again, as you walked up to the plate each time after you passed 55 and you hit 56, uh, what were the thoughts going through your mind? Did you, you think at all about Babe Ruth? Did you, as a guy might say, did you, ever, did you think he was peeking at you over the fence every time you got up there? Well, not really, Mel. I don't think I've uh, really had Mr. Ruth on my mind at the time. I was trying to hit the ball and hit it solid. And, of course, uh, let's face it, when you get uh, to a point where you know you're real close to something, you're going to try and gun for it. And... Uh, I think that's where a little bit of pressure might mount up as far as you and the pitcher are concerned because the pitcher knows you're trying to do it and of course you know you're trying to do it and between the two of you, you're not getting together. He's not giving you too much to hit at and you're swinging at bad balls. <laughs> and so, ladies and gentlemen, those are the feelings of the home run king, Roger Maris. The feelings as he took his turn at bat September the 9th at Yankee Stadium. It was a game against Cleveland.